Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss how to handle a bootstrap dropdown using Selenium WebDriver. For that let's first understand what is a traditional dropdown. So the traditional dropdowns in HTML will be constructed using the select tag. So these kind of dropdowns can be handled in Selenium using the select class which provides methods to automate the select dropdown. Now let's have a look at bootstrap dropdown. So bootstrap dropdown is an enhanced dropdown which is designed with help of ULLI and spam elements of the HTML with help of the bootstrap framework which is used to design the mobile responsive websites. So this is an example how a bootstrap dropdown will look like and we can handle this kind of dropdown with help of find elements method and looping through the different options with help of for or enhanced for loop. So let's try to automate this scenario. So I just navigated to the practice space and here we can see the example for the bootstrap dropdown. Let me try to inspect this. So as I have inspected, we can see the red color whatever we are seeing is a button and the options are under UI and LI tags. So inside the LI we have a anchor tag with the option text so what we have to do is like we need to get all these uh, options and we have to select the option whatever we require let's move to eclipse and try to automate this so here i have the basic setup for opening the browser by creating an object and waiting implicitly and maximizing the browser and get to open the url let me give the practice space URL inside the get. Just copy paste the value. So inside the test method, we have to write our logic for clicking on the button and getting the options. Let me inspect the button. So this is a button with an ID called tutorials dropdown. So we can locate this element with help of the ID. So we can go to the eclipse and try driver dot find element by dot id and we can provide the value that we just copy and just we need to do the click so dot click so this step will click on the element and will list the list of element inside that drop down so let's inspect the elements so as we can see these elements are under ul tag so this ul element can be identified with the class called drop down menu i think we can identify with drop down menu so for the construction of css selector we can use a dot and the class name so which will highlight the entire drop down options so inside the ul we have li element so we can access it with greater than and li so inside li we have an anchor tag so we can give again greater than and a this will highlight all the four options that we need so let's copy the css value and navigate to eclipse here we can use a list of web elements to store those options so we can give list of web element and options equal to driver dot find elements because we are storing multiple options so by dot css selector and we can provide the value that we have just constructed so this will store all the options into the options list so using for loop or for each loop we can access uh, each option at a time so we can give web element option and take the options and use the system dot out dot print ln to print those options so we can give like option and get text so this will get the text of each option one at a time so this way we can able to get the text of each option at a time and we can loop through and print all the different text. So just try to run as a test ng test. So this should uh, print all the options inside the bootstrap dropdown inside the console. Let's increase the console. So it should open the practice space and it should click on the dropdown and it should print the values inside the console let's see so it's still loading the piece let's wait for some more time 
it clicked on the drop down and it has printed all the options into the console and the test case has been passed yeah that's it for the video please do like and subscribe